the time the Broncos lost in Baltimore, it was pretty quick that you were on right before. Can you tell me why you got on him? What was it about him on his resume, coaching background, that you identified him? Yeah, you know, it was... Um, Whenever you're getting ready to take a GM job, you always have to have a plan of people you'd want to bring. So I'd, over the last couple of years, just in case the opportunity came about, I wanted to have a list of coaches um, that I'd be interested in. So I kind of started researching. It's a lot like scouting players, trying to get as much information as I can um, on the coaches. So I just started scouting coaches. And Mike was a guy that kept kind of coming up what he did in Carolina, um, then what he did in Denver especially in Denver with, with what he did with three different style of quarterbacks there. Um, I had a lot of contacts in Carolina from when I worked there, so I could do some research from there. But um, Mike was just a guy that really caught my eye early on, so I kind of followed his career. And then when we got a chance to uh, actually sit down and interview him, um, he just really blew us away with everything. So it worked out. The, uh, there's two coaches that the Broncos have lost no, I said not, it didn't even cross my mind to be honest with you. I was just looking for the best coach we could find. <laughs> yeah, perhaps he's really talented. Um, a really good back. He's got size, he runs well. Um, he's had production, but he's had some injuries too. Um, I think he could be a bell call back, and, but he needs to prove that on the field by staying healthy, and I think he's gonna have a chance to do that. Um, but all the talent is there. Um, Would we like a compliment back? There's no doubt about it. I'm, I'm a big believer in two backs. Um, these guys take a lot of punishment during the year. So to have two backs back there, actually you'd like three, but you know, you'd like to have two backs that you can lean on so Ryan doesn't have to take the bulk of the carries week in, week out. Um, who that compliment is or the style doesn't really bother me what kind of style it is, um, as long as he can come in and play. But yeah, we would like a compliment with him, but, but I think Ryan can do it as, as the one back. Hey, Tom, you like back on where you guys were with this organization last year? Well, I, I know I can refer back to watching Ryan as a first-time GM work with the first-time head coach with Chuck. Um, I've relied on that a lot, actually. And just where the roster was, like I said, it was a lot had to be turned over in a short period of time. Um, so to watch those two guys do it and do it so recently and do it so well, it's been a huge help for me here already. With, with Ryan, I mean, that, that's what, that was your next step to be a GM. What did you try to glean from him? Uh, as much as I could. Like I said, the big thing was watching that process of two first-time guys take on an organization that had to do a lot of turnover. Um, so I watched intently, tried to learn as much as I could. Um, watched Ryan aggressively turn that bottom half of the roster over um, weekly. As you guys know, Mondays and Tuesdays we had transactions coming in and coming out um, and being a part of that. But it's, it's a, I don't know if it's a similar process, but it's helped me watching those two guys work because we're going to be in a very similar situation here. Anything strike you about Ryan the way he goes about it? Um, a lot of things, but he's, he's very aggressive but still smart with it. Uh, he makes great football decisions. Uh, he listens to the people around him, um, and he's just—he has a great eye for talent. There's just—he's just a natural at it. Any stories you can tell us about? <laughs> Maybe on the side. How many years in Indy prepare you for this overall? Um, well, you're looking at 15 plus years of working with with Bill Polian, who you know, in my mind, is is the best in the business. But I'm biased, obviously. And then in one year with Ryan, who ended up being executive of the year. So without that whole learning process, there's no way I'm here w without, without those two guys and the whole, the whole organization. Uh, it's, everything I've learned has been from the Colts, really. What's going to be your personal style? I don't know if I even have a style. You know, I don't really concern myself too much with that. We come into work every day. We're trying to find the best players we can. Um, you know, part of the kind of building chemistry with the team and the team process of getting to know the coach as well, getting to know the scouts, the front office. And that's all part of team building for me is just trying to get to know everybody really well. That's what we're going through right now. I like to communicate with people. Um, but as far as what my style is, you know, I, I can't even answer that.
what, what am I hoping to get? With McCoy, what, do you, what are you hoping McCoy is going to get out the door from the Well, we need to get from the whole offense. I mean, the, the group as a whole, we need to get improvement from it. Um, I think having Mike with a quarterback background, not only playing in a, in a league, but coaching quarterbacks is going to help, and calling plays is going to help. Um, Ken Wisenhunt's background is, is great. It's a great fit for us. That's going to help. Um, but we need a whole group together, offensive line, tight ends, backs, receivers, to get that whole group playing better. Um, but obviously those two guys are going to be a huge help for our offense, no doubt about it. Because your timing, there's been so much change in the AFC West. Nobody's been in place for some years. I'm just worried about us right now. we got a long way to go. we got a lot of improvements to make. I haven't really focused too much on the rest of the division. We have a lot of decisions to make moving forward, so I really haven't focused too much on what everybody else is doing yet. A lot of us put two and two together and came up with 22 when you got the job, thought BA would be an asset. That, was that ever really on the table? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I worked with Bruce for three years in Indy before he left to go to Cleveland, and then a year last year with him where it was every day with Bruce. Um, excellent football coach. Knew he'd get a job at some point, um, but for us, the best fit right now is Mike McCoy. Um, but I, I, Bruce is going to be a really good head coach in this league. There's no doubt about it. All right, guys, that it. Thank you. Thanks.